40 minutes of trying to get the stupid camera to work, I uh, can finally get it going to get on this moto vlog here with my new S1000. And the reasons why I decided to buy this bike out of all the other bikes that are on the market and available to buy. So let's talk about exactly why I chose to pick up this motorcycle out of all the other bikes, ZX10s, Ducatis, R1s, etc. Aprilia, RC4As. There's a ton and a ton of bikes on the market. So first of all, I was looking for a bike that was a thousand cc. I didn't want a 600, didn't want a 750. I needed a leader bike. Um, and I've ridden plenty of leader bikes before, so I knew you know 600s. They're fun, but they're slow to me now, and I like to have some a lot more power. So that's why I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and I choose to go with a leader bike. Simple. Well, a couple years ago, I bought a, what you saw in one of my videos, the Gixxer 1100. Well, at that time, I didn't really have much money at all, and I just kind of bought whatever I could cheap. And I was like, I'm just going to get it cheap, whatever it is, buy it, fix it, ride it. So I started getting into doing that kind of stuff and ended up just costing me more money than I wanted it to. And truthfully, it was just, it was just a pain. I, like, I'm done with all these old bikes, fixing them up and just, it's annoying. I just want to have something that's good, reliable, whatnot. So that's when I really got serious and started looking into the market of new leader bikes and whatnot. I had, in the video where I had the Hayabusa versus the S1000 that was back a few months ago, I, uh, that was my first time like riding that S1000 and I, I ridden it one other time. I went up, I rode it for maybe like three miles. I cracked it open like once, I, and that was about it. I didn't get to go around corners, didn't really get to drive it for a distance to see, okay, is this bike comfortable, is it uncomfortable, what are the benefits and all that kind of stuff about it. So I, uh, I liked it, but I didn't know, but I didn't really think about buying it at the time. So uh, my buddy comes down, he brings the Hayabusa stretched and lowered ZX-10R that ran eight and a quarter. I rode it, but I only rode it like two days and to put that and the Busa and the thing was, is I was really serious about a ZX-10R. Um, you know, I like Jigsaw 1000s, don't get me wrong, and you know, CBR 1000s, especially for reliability, but it just, you know, y Yamaha and Kawasaki and BMW and are really high up in the top of the line of the bikes, and that's really what I was looking at. So, uh, so he brought the bikes up, I rode the ZX10, and you know, the power was great, don't get me wrong, it's a fast bike. I mean, any, in reality, any 1,000cc motorcycle, even bone stock, it's fast. So I rode it and I was like, this thing's fast, but it was unbelievably uncomfortable for me. You know, other people will disagree on me of that, but for me, it was just brutal. And I rode it for a short period of time, and it was just like, wow, this really sucks. I loved it, but it was just so uncomfortable that I didn't even want to ride it much. So I rode the Hayabusa, and that was actually my first time riding a Hayabusa. And I loved it for the fact that it was so comfortable. I'm like, I could just ride this thing for so long, and it's very comfortable, and it has decent power, but it still it was too big for me. It didn't handle as well as I want. I'm a small guy, I'm about 140 pounds. So, you know, I need to have something that ain't gonna be super big. And I mean, I, mean, I can ride it, no problem. But I'd rather something more nimble. So I rode the S1000. I really, really liked it. Well, after that, riding those bikes, I pretty much knew the S1000 was going to be the bike for me. I, I pretty much fell in love with it. I really liked it, and I just couldn't believe how good it was. I was like, this bike is so nimble. It's so good. And I just love it. I'm like, every, every aspect about this bike is just the power delivery on this, on this motorcycle. Uh, even on a bone stock one is absolutely brutal. You hop on a lot of bikes, but the way the power comes out on this bike, it just hits you so hard. And it's so much fun. So, I really like that. So, I started looking at bikes, but then I started looking at ZX-10s again. Because of the price. And I was like, man, 
I can create I can get like a brand new 20 even 2017 so I can get a brand new ZX 10 off for the price of a used S1000 double R and that's where it was getting to the point where I was really starting to debate well I'm gonna get a warranty from Kawasaki if I get a BMW no warranty it's been used all that stuff so uh, what's gonna be the best option what 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 should I do and obviously I picked the S1000 because I love the bikes they look amazing they ride absolutely amazing they're smooth they're nimble they have amazing power and yes that is the ocean right here we are we are we are crossing the uh, Hilton Head Bridge I, Brit, oh my gosh I can't speak Hilton Head Bridge to get onto the island of Hilton Head in South Carolina so I decided to ride over here to talk about this go through a little circle and then come on back and you can see the sunset and it probably look nice so try to make a little bit you know some nice scenery in the, in the filming here so anyway and I will be going out at some point I will be doing polls probably tonight so it'll be a separate video but I have three cameras on the bike I got one over here I got one on the tail and then obviously one that I'm having on right now so we'll see what I do but uh, it's really beautiful uh, other I was on my way to work uh, Friday morning and it, was, and it was a little bit of stop and go traffic and I was right in the beginning of the bridge I get just there's a couple dolphins in the water and you get to see them their little fins they come out see their tail and it's pretty cool so I like that kind of stuff it's neat to me you don't get to see that stuff every day so I'm from Ohio I'm in the Cleveland area so yes I know 650 Eve if anybody's asking so that's right you know I grew up in that area so that's what I'm used to riding and all so anyways um, but yeah I mean that's that's really why I, I decided to pick up the S1000 RR is I fell in love with it it's just so good the power on the bikes absolutely amazing the reliability that that's one of the big things for me especially is how reliable these are and I I know I'll get people to say, oh, these bikes aren't as reliable as you think. Well, four people I know have blown up Kawasaki's. And now if they're bone so I can ride them hard, they probably won't blow up. But all the guys that know we ride them hard, but the thing is, I ride the bike just, I ride the bike super hard too. So I'm always in red line almost every day I'm on here, I'm, I'm revving it out because it's just so good. So that that's a huge thing. And my friend blew his Kawasaki up at 11,000 or 12,000 miles. ZX 14R, he bought brand new. Um, I mean, yeah, it was fully modded, but a valve broke and end of the motor. Um, another friend is an H2. That blew up. Obviously, it was fully modded again. And that's the thing I know people say. Well, you know, you're you're comparing it to bikes that are fully modded, and yes, that is true. But I mean, I just had a lot of people with problems with Kawasaki, and I really wanted one, 